Stream schon ab. Called a fjord. Ready to veni vidi vecchi? I like I'm that. Ready to talk That's to funny. Tessa. Instead of Ford, it's called Fjord. I'm I am happy with Just that. That's awesome. Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? You're Michael. Oh, now I'm... now I'm Allie. Hey, you. Hello. Hey, isn't it your day off? No. Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker rude <laughs> don't worry she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you it's so good to finally meet you the tyler talk goes on 24 7 so i feel like i already know you that's a good sister so uh you here to grab some stuff for the homestead or yeah we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there we'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it hey i'm all for efficiency cannot wait for us to get out of here <sighs> what's that Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> Gonna become famous. Okay? Absolutely not. Feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. Goodbye. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> Oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish, even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... <sighs> Never mind. Yeah. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I dig it. No, no, no. Well, why is he running? Why are you running? Emory. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Where is it? Where is the memory? Come on, I'm freezing here. I don't care. Found it. I want to have the crispy tostino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Oof. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. That sounds delicious, though. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. I'll go shopping. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a... 
dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Oh, uh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, nope. I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. I want okay, to not... Okay, so we need I candles and an again. all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Here's the drinks. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Uh... OJ sound good to you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Before we go home. Candy corn. So nasty. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? This place is a mess. I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Yeah. Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep. And you still want for them. it. Anyway, how's your day going? Uh, just found something. Sure. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? No, no. I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. Yep. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Okay, bye. What the hell is that? You think you could take a big Tyler? Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! It was a 12-pounder. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. Or the candles. So, basically nothing? Hey. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? Chippies. You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Fine. Sugar rush it is. Oh, and ham? How do people eat this? Broke people. Uh, did ten years in fireweed make- Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Candles. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. You only live once. We could stock up on frozen waffles. What is this? Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Ooh, busted. Where the cleaning stiff? Cleaning stuff. Did, did you Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Oh my way, off of this cleaner. Hey, All surface. If we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream. I'll <laughs> take the strong one. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. He's just gonna say go home. Right? You're just gonna tell us to go home? Will that be all? Yes. 
Thank you, Tom. Okay. I would just oh, say hi, no, Tessa. Hi. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we okay. were out at the old house today. I am not needed. Heavens, why they are you done. there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. We want to ask you some questions about her. Yes. We well, won't know. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. Yeah. I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. That doesn't matter. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. Oh, hold on. There we go. It never came up. I found out much later, just That's like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. I missed all of that. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? There's two. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's hey, you were right. There's two more. I thought there was only one. Wait, where? Why? Why are we going this way? What are we going this way for? Memory. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Children. Where are you, memory? Where is it? Ah. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh. What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debt? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it. But not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. That's different. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne, I want to talk to you. Tessa got now. all preachy. Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few... I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? 
No, Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all Okay, of you. Jesus. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine. Not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Yeah. You liar. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? Yes. We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. No. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Tom. Tommy Tom Tom. Hey Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? I, forget. Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Is it right? Yes. I think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check out all the memories, man. Oh, yeah. stop! That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh yeah, Tessa, come join me. I know you 
love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. That's me. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Is there more memory working around? I don't know. Duh. Kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay. Okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy. Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. I gotta figure out how to save. Yeah, seems like it. Notebooks. Is there more memories though? Is there more memories? No, guess not. There is one. You sound drunk. Yep. What? No, I just had a day, okay? I just had a day, I took a okay? Pill. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I said I'm fine. Yeah. Hey, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle it. Just confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Oh. Let's look for it. Is play down rehearsals again. Be for voice. Chat the tone. Robin Williams. Oh, okay. Oh God. Oh, it's going up and down. Okay. Uh, sleeping. Uh, Adrian said they were riding high, then picked up. Uh, same time. First lady. It would have been a girl say we love you, Aunt Tessie. You and Tom should come home for dinner. Adrian's been dying to show you the new media room. Okay. Order than chip, garlic peeler, kitchen tool. There we go. Is that what she recommended for Tyler? Probably. The government owed you ten thousand dollars cash. Uh, back. Where is back? What is back? I have to click it. Okay. I want to find that notebook though before I talk to her again. Can I Open. help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I have an email from Gemma Jones. Nope. Nothing so far. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. What's this doing here? I just took it. Okay, that's fine.
Hey. Is there something I can do for you? We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. Oh, yeah. The two of you started arguing I should never be a painter at my job. Because it's loved. all over my arm. And when was that? And well, all over my pants. Uh, October? Oh, God. I didn't look. October 2004. That I, don't, was I don't remember. Okay. Right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But, but yeah, never I shouldn't about. ever be painting because this I, is what happens. But you can't squeeze blood from at work. Stuff. It's awful. Yeah. We didn't think you guys were I'm not a painter, clearly. I should not be the one to do painting. It is not my job. I don't like it. And that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It yeah. was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... They caught you. Your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was coming apart at the seams. Yeah. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy. It's what not I a good answer. Help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well, not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? Clearly not. I do. Now, how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. Yeah. So she was cool this one? who I was. It is she on. was more than that. She loved I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. I'm sorry if you can well, hear the fan. It is cold enough in here that I need it. Up. Stupid snow. Snow in April makes no sense. I'm going to turn that off in like two minutes. <laughs> can we grab our groceries? No. Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Bye, Tom. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tess and Becky to talk about the past. Bravo. You did it, Tyler. No, no, she tried to kill her. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. Okay, that's that's warm. I don't want that. Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I can use a smoke. <laughs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just I mean, she didn't try to kill you, she tried to kill herself, and then you caught her trying to kill herself, so she didn't want to. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No. Yeah. Never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner, dinner conversation. conversation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But, I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. I still think it's hilarious how they call that thing a fjord instead of a ford. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. I love that.